Here, Mike. Uh, what? Hey, can you imagine if the most haughty crew had their own cricket team? I reckon you'd have um, Derek Akora batting, Carl bowling, and then I think you'd have oh, um, that. Um, yeah, yeah. Yvette Fielding. Very funny. Good joke, mate. Oh, yeah. Yvette Fielding. Yeah, I forgot about her. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Kestrel Investigates, where I will be your chaperone into the dark corners of society. I'm joined as ever by my best and only friend, Mike. Say hello, Mike. Hi, everyone. Hiya. How's it going? Are you all right? You're smiling. Is that so rare? Yeah, yeah, it is actually, yeah. Um, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm really good. Oh, yeah, um... Yeah. Why is that? It came. Okay. It came. It finally came in the post your, today. Your compensation arrived? Yeah. Oh, you know what that means, don't you? Yeah. Our money worries are finally over. <laughs> Our money worries? Well, your money worries. I mean, mine are still very much with us. Uh, with me. It's crazy, though, isn't it? You getting 80 grand just for a little forklift truck accident. It wasn't a little... Guys, I've been in pain for five years. I've been on painkillers for five years. I mean, it's a chronic condition, right? It, it, I lost my job. My, my marriage broke down as a result of it. I mean, I can't run, play tennis. Yeah, but 80 grand! <laughs> oh, uh, Kez, um, this came for you as well. Oh. Just, um, I think it's for you anyway. Oh. It was just sitting by the garage. A parcel for me? <laughs> is it my birthday? No, we, we don't know when your birthday is, remember? We, we just decided it was better if you didn't have one. It's just oh. easier. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, exciting! I wonder what it could be. No idea. <coughs> oh, what, Mike? A nail bomb. What? <coughs> fucking nail bomb. I think we're lucky it didn't go off properly. Oh. You alright? I think so. Oh, God. Hang on. Are you saying this wasn't an accident? <coughs> oh. <coughs> right then, uh, now that we stopped bleeding, I guess we better go see the police. Yeah, you're right, we, sh we should. We've got to report this, man. That's, that was like attempted murder. Oh, no, no, Mac. I mean, uh, go see the police for our next investigation. What? 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 I, I thought we were going to Bradford to see that woman who said her son had, what was it, turned into a bumblebee. Oh yeah, we 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 were, but um, we've had a special invitation from North Yorkshire Police to go interview an eyewitness in a murder case that happened just last night. Have we? Yes, indeed. How, how is our involvement going to help that situation? Don't ask me. Let's investigate. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Kestrel investigates. I really wish we knew what we were doing here. We do. We're here to interview some guy. Perfect, yeah. Um, as soon as we're finished, we've got to get to the bank, right? And then we've got to put this check in. Well, you've got to put this check in your bank account, all right? No, hang on a sec. What are you doing? I'm not giving it to you. I'm not an idiot, right? Stick it in the glove box, please. It's oh. staying in the car safe and sound. I still don't understand why it's in my name. Is it mine? No, it's not yours. Right, it's, it's a bit complicated. Um, I've had to put us down as civil partners, right? Um, and the money's going into your account, because if it goes into mine, then Linda gets half. Linda? Or your wife? My ex-wife. Oh, I saw her the other day. She's working in everything for a pound. Yeah, well, that sums her up. Um, I think we need a parking ticket. Can you go get one, please? Me? Why me? Why not? <laughs> I can't afford a parking ticket, Mike. And literally, I've got five pounds to last me 32 days, not including today. Five pounds, 32 days. Do you know how much that is a day? How much? Well, not enough. 
You are going to mention the nail bomb, though, right? What nail bomb? What do you mean, what nail bomb? Oh, that nail bomb. <laughs> Don't be daft, Mike. I mean, that was obviously just a case of mistaken identity. It had your name on it. Detective Grimstead, I presume? You're late. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot to wind my watch. That's a digital watch. Oh, not, not this watch, obviously. A different one there. Listen, sunshine. We're not playing around, you know. This is serious. Like I said to you on the phone, I've spoken to your parole officer. If we don't get the information we need by tonight, you're back in prison. Do you think I like waiting around in the cold for Z-list YouTube celebrities like yourselves? No. Follow me. Hey, Mike, did you hear that? He called us celebrities. <laughs> I said, follow me. Oh, oh. Sir? Oh, whoa, hold your horses there, sunshine. No cameras allowed. I'm with them. Come on, get out of here. Oi! Jesus! I Wait, said no cameras. The cameras are fine, they're with me. Would you put that thing away? We do not need a repeat of the Toby Carvery incident. Right you are, sir. And you, behave. This is a crime scene. He started it. Yeah, sorry, sir. Uh, I mean, my civil partner Mike's got a bit of an anger problem. Ever since his wife Linda oh. ran off with another fella... It... Come on, Kez, you don't have to tell the whole fucking world. No. Right. So the body's in here. There's no fingerprints, no ID, no DNA records. Nothing. It's like it doesn't exist. Like a unicorn? Some sort of improvised explosive device went off in the early hours. A neighbour gave us a ring, she had the bang. Luckily, the witness isn't injured. Just in a state. But, what, the witness is still in there with the body? What, they've been in there all night? Isn't that a bit traumatic? I mean, you should have just... Could you take them to the police station or something? Well... You see. Already told you my name. Where am I? How did I get here? Get off me! I said get off me! Please just stay calm, you'll hurt yourself. Knock knock. Hello! What the fuck are you looking at? Good question. What's all this about, eh? Who are you? What, what's that kind of for, eh? Hey there, little guy. Oh, we've been asked by the nice policeman to come and talk to you. Who are you calling little? Hey, you specky four-eyed bastard. Why is it Scotch, Mike? Scotch? The word is Scottish, you cheeky fucker. Well, that's not a very nice way to... <coughs> I've just woken up. I don't know where I am. And I feel very, very, very angry. And I also seem to have a man's fist stuck up my backside. You know how that feels. Mike probably does. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're very angry when you wake up. Uh, Mike, cameraman Mike, he doesn't know what from down without his morning coffee. Uh, I could get you one if you like. A coffee? Yeah. Hi. Hi. That'd be nice, actually. Uh, sorry. You totally pussied out back there, mate. Well, he was surprisingly strong. <laughs> you were like, oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> That's really cheered me up. I really don't understand you sometimes, Mike. You want to get him a coffee so don't beat you up. Oh, maybe I'm being the good cop and I'm buying him a coffee to gain his trust. Then he'll speak to us and then we can help the police with their investigation. And then I won't end up back in the slammer. Nah. Uh... Mike? Not a chance, mate. Oh, come on, even an espresso is out five quid these days. Should have thought about that, shouldn't you? So what do you first remember? Everything before waking up in this kitchen. It's like a fog. Mike, he's got ambrosia. Do you mean amnesia, Kez? No, over there. What? Oh, oh yeah. Oops. My lunch. <laughs> oh, that's rice pudding for lunch. I do remember one thing, though. Oh, well, that's a start. My name! My, my name is Abramain Kestrel. Well, that's actually my name. <laughs> what are you talking about? Can someone get Pinocchio here a mirror? On it. Cheers. She really seems to be getting through to him quite well. I like women. Steady case. No, not like that. I mean, they're like mams, aren't they? Well, I'm not going to pull on that thread right now. Oh, 
Man, we've been here hours and we still haven't got any answers. But this way I'll be back in prison by lights out. Well, you survived it before. I'm sure you can do it again. True. I guess I can always cash your cheque when I get out. Oh, fuck me, the cheque. I completely forgot about that. All right, come on, right, let's stop messing around. Get back over there and get some answers. Come on, go on. Come on, Kermit, you must remember something else. I'm trying. My head's all fuzzy. Please don't push him. He's having an existential crisis. Yeah, well, can't he do that later? I mean, how do you know you're the real anchor of Kestrel? Well, for starters, he's not made out of felt, is he? I mean, who's this <coughs> man lying here? Clearly someone you're very attached to. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who I am either. Just who I want to be from now on. I just need to go on with my life. Find a job! Uh, although God knows what I could do. <coughs> well, you could be a handyman. You know, you could work in a second hand shop, cos that, that'd uh, feel like a glove, wouldn't it? Stop making jokes, Mike. Come on, I'm bored. You'll be alright, other kids. I'm sure there's loads of hand jobs out there for you to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I've got aspirations. This, this could be a fresh start for me. I don't want people to think I'm just some cut-rate paranormal investigator like you. I want to do something worthwhile. <laughs> Oh, my investigations are worthwhile, aren't they, Mac? Um. Come on, mate. Annette showed me a clip of your show on YouTube. Who? Oh, Annette. No! Yeah. Grown adults, running around in the dark, screaming, being manipulated by everyone. You are a bigger dummy than me. I'm not a dummy. Why don't you quit then? Get a proper career. I got all the gear. This is really weird. This is going nowhere. Oi! Oi, lads! I'm starving. Any scram? Um well, I've got a Scotch a Scottish egg. Nah. Don't fancy popping down the shops, do you? Get me some tatty crisps. I can't really afford it. Say what, pal? Oh I'm having a bit of a cash flow situation. Oh why? Come over here, pal. Have a wee chat with me, man to man. I can help you with that. I thought you only wanted some crisps. I guess that's the last of your fiver gun. Oh no, wait, Mike. Listen, the puppet has regained his memory. He's got a load of cash stashed somewhere. Oh yeah. And he says, if I can distract the policeman so he can make an escape, he'll put a load in my account. Okay, but what about prison? and schmizen. I'll be rolling in it and I won't even have to have been crippled by a forklift truck. Good day. Yeah, great. Actually, what about my cheque? Um, well, when I'm back inside, you can uh, use my bank card. The pin number is one, two, two three. three, four. I know your pin number, yeah. Hey, just think, if you had all this money before, uh, you wouldn't have had to spend four years in prison. You could have just paid your way up, paid no, no, Britannia no, no. off. Um, I, would, I still wouldn't have paid uh, Britannia Music out of sheer principle. I mean, buy six CDs for the price of one, then they jack up the price. Bastards. That said, uh, one of them was the best of the Lighthouse family. Just a blank disc, is it? Oh, you can make jokes all you want, Mike, but that CD has seen me through some of my darkest moments. Uh, the music that <coughs> Tunde and Paul created is incandescent. It... it, it, it it, I don't know, it, it, it makes you feel like you're surrounded by loved ones, guiding you through difficult times, like a bright beacon of hope. Like a lighthouse family. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. like a lighthouse family. Come on, we got your crisps and that. Are we in the wrong house? Excuse me, have you seen Kestrel? Uh, the, the puppet version? Kez, okay, that's obviously the same person. Oh, but you look so different. Where are your specs? And your tash? Occhio, a shit shower in the shade, and some contacts in. Now, are we all set? Yeah, yeah. Grand. Right, you guys hang round out front. If the pull has come, keep them chatting as we leg it. We? I'm making a fresh start. Breaking out of here, and I'm going to marry Annette. Marry Annette? Aye. Marry Annette, seriously.
Kez, I, I really do think we're making quite a big mistake here. Shh, we're not doing anything illegal. All we're doing is stalling the detective, so puppet me as a chance to skedaddle. Yeah, all we're doing is getting in the way of an ongoing police murder investigation so that you can make a couple of quid. Oh, it's more than a couple of quid. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey there, big guy. So, what you got for us? Uh, well, there's a tough cookie to um, uh, crack, but we have managed to work some stuff out. Uh, brace yourselves. It's being made to look like me. Yeah, we knew that. Is that it? Uh, no, uh, through various uh, specialist interview techniques, we've also managed to get his name. Yeah, same as you, it's right. Yeah. Why didn't we ask you to come speak to him? I thought you'd seen my show and needed my expertise. <laughs> <laughs> That's priceless. Anyway, some new evidence has come to light. We're going to move the witness and the victim to secure location. So thanks for your expertise. You two can fuck off. Oh, wait, what about prison? I was just fucking with you. Oh, wait, 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 you can't go in there. Why not? This is a distraction, distraction. John, trunching away. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Jesus, hey, Samuels. He has legged it. Oh, my God. Focus. Sort of an idiot's brown colour. What? That's mine! Thought I told you to, you clear off. John? Right, get a fucking clear off now, right? Kestrel investigates. So many questions left unanswered. Who was the dead guy? Why was the puppet made to look like me? Will the puppet put the money into my account before my stash of expired super noodles runs out? Weird one, eh, Mike? Mike? What? Oh, come on, you're not still angry just because the puppet stole your car, posed as me, cashed your cheque and took all your compensation money, are you? Yes, Kez. Yes, I am. Oh, well, you can have some of my money when the puppet puts it into my account. I mean, look on the bright side. At least the police found your car. What? When did that happen? Why well, didn't I tell you? Yeah, they rang later that day. Uh, they found it abandoned at Selby train station. That was about a week... No, you neglected to tell me that, Kez. Oh, mine like a sieve. Oh, and the police also wanted me to read this uh, message on air. Be on the lookout for this man. He is desperate and may be armed. Um, What's that? I don't know. I found it by the garage door. Must be an Amazon parcel. Yeah, hang on a Look at the right... Wait, wait, Kez! Oh, fucking hell. What are you panicking about? I thought it was going to be another nail bomb. Oh, Mike, what are you like? Ooh, look. There's another parcel inside. I wonder what's in this. 